What's good, YouTube? This is DHR2 Productions, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're just tuning in and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow me on social media, which is Instagram, which all of that will be down below. So, we haven't reacted to the Steve Walker show in a very long time, so the title of the, the title of this video is going to be Scared to Tell the Truth. I don't know what she's so afraid of, of scared of telling the truth, because you, you know what to say, the truth shall set you free. But there are times where it can damage the relationship, so that's just basically how I feel about it. So the original video will be down below if you guys want to check it out. So uh, yeah, well, let's get to it. Nearly eight years ago, Tiffany and Michael were on my show because Michael was convinced that Tiffany was cheating and prostituting. Oh. Oh. Tiffany proved their innocence, and after that, they both say things were great. Until this past weekend. You see, Michael says that Tiffany lied about where she was and who she was with. Wow. And now his old fears are back to haunt him. Take a look. When I was here last, my husband, he was accusing me of cheating. And I called the show, and the reason why I called the show was because we were fighting really bad. So he even had a nerve to say I was a prostitute. When I first met her, before even this ever happened, before we ever got married, my wife, she was on, um, when I met her, she was an ex-prostitute. Um, Saw her working on the streets? Or? Yeah, like once around the corner sometimes. Either way. All right, so, but you see her on the street, and you know she's a working woman, mm -hmm. and you strike up a conversation. Why does the title say she's only 13? Don't you think this title is misleading? Just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. I told you that us having our baby should have made you believe me. We shouldn't have never had to brawl it this far. But I'm glad we did so that way you can never say that those things to me again. Tiffany, you were asked in your lie detector test, since married to Michael, have you cheated on Michael with any other man? You answered no. Have you prostituted since you've been married to Michael? She answered no. And results of Tiffany's by the text test is that she told the truth. We soon worked through that once I passed the lie detector test, and then he just started back up here recently within the last year or so, accusing me of cheating. I never really thought I'd be back. I mean, I'm older now, you know. It seems like when somebody is, is hurt so bad, they can't help but to think of the past, stay in the past, instead of just moving on. They're going to always assume that you're out there doing God knows what. But my thing is, is he the only one cheating? Because he out here accusing her of doing the unthinkable, but isn't he the one doing something too? Some Something's up. Nobody wants to go on his TV and make a fool of themselves. It's heartbreaking, man. You know, and I know I hit a lot of things, but I'm really just some kind of trust. And I wouldn't have lied to him about simple stuff if he wasn't stressed up so badly. And make more uh, out of things than what they really are. This past weekend, I went out. I mean, I, I, had, I, I had a drink with a friend, but I mean, that's all it was. It was a drink. And... I mean, yeah, I didn't tell him the truth, but at the same time, it's like he's not a person I can really talk to because he had been accused of me, and I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. So I felt like I had to lie to him, and I know that sounds sad, you know, but it's the truth. If I tell him the truth, he tries to make me say more than exactly what is not there. So, like, he'll be like, oh, so did you do this? We would eventually end it up here anyway. And when we fight in front of my son, it's our son. Oh, wow. It makes us look so crazy. And I want us to stop. I want him to see that this isn't. The worst thing you can do is argue in front of a child. Little then little I just want to get to the truth today. And that like, can create I mean, an what, where I'm at. way out you know, of control so altercation. Crazy stuff. And if it don't stop, then I don't know what to do. Well, what happened last Friday? So last Friday, me and my buddies, we had a crib. They go home. 
go cleaning up. I'm like, damn, my wife would have been, you know, she would have been calling me. You know, 12.30, she getting off. So I called, you know, I don't, I don't stop chasing a rat, you know, but that's my wife, you know, I just said, you know, let me do that. So I called, she didn't pick up, so she come in the door. I'm like, it was 1 o'clock, so I'm like, what's going on here? Oh, hey, man, I just be coming, you work late. So the whole time she yelling, no mouth open up. What I smell? Alcohol. I said, y'all smell alcohol, bro. Ain't no alcohol on my bro. So Monday come. This Monday just passed. You know, you can't, you can't work that. You know, I'm a beast with that, that phone, that internet. So I go up there and look. I was like, hold on. I see a bar number. A bar Google directions. I'm like, hold on. Uh-uh. I showed it. She's like, no, nah, I Google that for my friend. No, 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 no. Why I got the map? The directions, the GPS map. Boom. One plus one equal two. Two plus two equal four. I ain't dumb. I know she, you know, I already know. I, I already know. You know what I'm saying? I know she, it, it's sad, man. We got to come up here. Next thing you know, wh what part where I was at? What part I was at? The part where we bring out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Tiffany. Let's bring out Tiffany. You know why we back here. I'm back here because you don't trust me. I know we that. Supposed yeah, we supposed to be Come together. Yeah, we supposed to be together. But hold on, hold on. But if you hold on, listen. We don't even have to care like that because you know what I'm saying. The question they were telling me back then, you thought out because we argue and the things I say to you, people say that in the heat of the moment. But we shouldn't come up here after. Make then why say it? Then why I say don't it? Know, so man. hold on a second. You understand what he's actually saying? <laughs> Boy, they got this nigga on here. They got this nigga on here looking like Kevin, um, Kevin Garnett. Playing, looking like a fake Kratos from God of War. This dude's been talking to me for ten minutes. I didn't know what. God of Crack War is what I see. Okay. So I'm gonna take a wild stab at this. You were on the show nine years ago. Yeah. He didn't trust you. Accused you all kind of crazy things. You passed. Yeah. When you left the show, things were good for a long time. Yeah. But recently, he's been accusing you of crazy stuff again. Yeah, because this last Friday, I went out on a bar, a bar with a friend, a girlfriend, and we took a drink. After but, work. After work. But make a long story short, he accused me so bad, and he's the type of person where you just can't tell But him. did this all just stem from last Friday? No, it's been building up. It's been building yeah. up. And why, do you, why do you think? Because he just don't trust me. Tiffany, we asked you since you were here last in the summer of 2010, have you had such? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I think he the one doing something, y'all. But man, see, that's the question. I won't come up, man. I, that was jokes. I was talking. She jokes. answered no. Since you were here last in the summer of 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with any females? She answered no. Since you were last here in December 2010, have you had sexual physical contact with any other males besides Michael? You answered no. Since you were here last in the summer 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Michael? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Tiffany told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Never again. Never again. Uh -huh. You good? Yeah. You good? Yeah. I want to know if you took the lot off type of test. Yeah. I told y'all. I told y'all. What's that? When you accuse somebody of cheating, oh, did we read that means you must be doing something. No, I can't do that. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you would, I, nah, they ain't rig you up. You just better make sure you pass. That's all. Michael took a lie detector test. Oh, yeah. And we asked him. Yeah, he cheating. Much more, I bet he passed. Time. I mean, he cheated. Have you had any sexual <laughs> sure. contact with any females? He answered no. Since you were here last in December 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with any females? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Michael did not tell the truth. Told you. I told y'all. I told, I told you 2010. Uh, don't y'all bring up the excuse. You got about 08 with that Daniel 2010 before you got married. I, I told her that. Yeah, I did. When when the show room, yeah, I told her that she knew that. But other than that, that, I you, that she knows that since the last time you were here, after we left the show, yeah. You cheated on me? 
Man, I told you, man. I went no, you didn't. Man, I told you. Look, 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 look at him. He acted all defensive and stuff when he knew that he was cheating. Never brought a baby into this situation, and you know that. You didn't tell me that. I've been told. No, my memory ain't so quaint, but I remember you didn't tell me that. You took me through all this. Well, the last time you were on, you got good news that she wasn't doing anything, and then a week later, you cheat on her. I knew it. You just don't want me. I do want you, but I don't want you. Nah, bruh. Nah. Nah. You don't want me. Ain't no way in the world, cuz. Come on now. You got me on TV looking well, crazy when you could have told me good, this. Good luck finding someone who's going to give you one. You couldn't have told You know, it's sad to me that how a person who accuses you of cheating when they somehow don't realize they're the one cheating first. It's always got to be the tables turned all the way around back on them. And that should tell you something. So, if you're doing wrong, don't accuse that person of cheating. We, we, you're the ones out here doing the dirty deeds. And you took the L's. So, y'all enjoy my reaction to this. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm your host, DHR2 Productions. And I'm out of here. Peace.